What is going on everybody? It's always come back to you with another video and today we are doing another unreliable game picks because we all know I am completely ass at this. However, you guys want to see it? You guys want to see how horrible I am? I mean, you know what? Two weeks ago I got all but one right. So, you know, I have like first week and uh, two weeks ago I did pretty good. Last week, not too hot, but we'll try to have a ba bounce back uh, week this week. Now, let's roll through it. Kansas City, Miami. I think this one's going to be a pretty simple one. Kansas City is just a little bit better. Miami, their defense and special teams have been rocking pretty damn well. And it's just, it all depends on if we get, it, like, Tua is Dr. Jackal, Mr. Mr. Hyde, if we're going to be 100% honest. Like, sometimes he's a monster. Sometimes he's just some pedestrian little doctor dude who really has not too much of an effect. So, uh, Miami, it's uh, it's always up in the air. But Tua's been doing a really good job. Again, I don't know if you can stop the Chiefs. Tennessee, Jacksonville, this is another joke game. Uh, even if the airhead himself, Glennon, Still balls out. Um, I don't think Tennessee is going to want to sit down and be nothing, right? Uh, they don't want to lose another game. So I think this is going to be kind of crucial for them to try to take that division. And um, a key thing here is that last week they found out that they can win without Derrick Henry. Well, not win. They can be pretty good on the scoreboard without Derrick Henry playing well. So there's at least some life in Tennessee, especially Corey Davis starting to show out in his contract year. Now, Indianapolis, Vegas. This is going to be a good game. Honestly, this is going to be a really good game. Uh, however, I'm going to take Indy on this one, man. I know that they're they're just vying for that division. Uh, Vegas is a really solid team, and they, they put up a really good fight against the Jets. <laughs> Cover zero. Um, <laughs> I don't really like how I have to say that they put up a good fight against the Jets, but... You know, it showed that the defense had some holes. The offense were, was able to step up and save their ass, but uh, Vegas, I mean, of course, they're probably going to bounce back this week and smack Indy, but I have faith in Indianapolis just being able to be very consistent. Frank Reich's an amazing coach. Uh, Pitt, Buffalo, this is an interesting one because Vince Williams just went on COVID list and Robert Spillane is not even available. So we have Avery Williamson and I, have, I think Ulysses Gilbert as our second middle linebacker. So honestly, I hate to say it, guys. You're in Buffalo and in this late time, uh, in this late of the year in December. I'm going to be giving Pitt two losses in a row. It's not a very good start for Pitt, but that's okay. You know, Pittsburgh, you got the 11 win cushion right now. You're going to be okay. Now, Baltimore, Cleveland. Cleveland's been cooking, man. Cleveland's been cooking without. I mean, Lamar's been putting up 100 yards the damn game. This is a absolute travesty. Travesty of a quarterback. I really do not like Lamar Jackson. I think he's a runner who can throw, not really a, uh, a thrower who can run, like a Lamar, uh, like a not Lamar Jackson, uh, like a Deshaun Watson. So Lamar Jackson, I'm honestly kind of low on him. Let me know what you guys think about this, because not many of you guys do watch these this video, but apparently we've been getting a lot more coverage on it. Of course, the channel's growing exponentially, so thank you guys. But I legit think that the Baltimore Ravens should not re-sign Lamar when his contract's up. That's just a, I mean, that's a big, uh, big question mark thing for me. That's like a big hot take, but I genuinely don't think that he keeps this Baltimore team at its potential. Realistically, I think he's kind of, he's kind of a middle of the road dude, especially when it comes to the playoffs. He's definitely below average and Baker. He's just been balling out. I think he's going to continue that, that hot streak. And I think they're just going to do really well. Again, that's a game where I could easily be wrong, but you know, without OBJ, kind of have more faith in Baker. New England, Los Angeles, this is going to be an interesting game because you have no idea which team shows up for either of these teams. The Rams could lose to the San Francisco 49ers, or the Jet. I mean, the Patriots could almost lose to the Jets, but they can they can like literally whop, whop, whoop the uh, the Chargers, and the Rams could beat the Cardinals. So that's a big question mark. I'm going to be going LA here though. You know, it's just they're at home. They're going to be rocking. Hopefully Jared Goff doesn't turn the ball over four times. The defense has been doing really well as well. We're going to be rocking Los Angeles there. Houston, Chicago. Um, I'm going to take Houston all day, every day. Deshaun Watson's a much better quarterback than anything Chicago has. Uh, even if you combine Nick Foles and Trubisky, like it, like their Madden ratings, I don't think that they should even equal Deshaun Watson's. It's just he's that good. And, I mean, without Will Fuller, I think that's going to be okay. Chicago's defense is pretty damn stout. However, I think Lamar's, Lamar, I do this every time, uh, Deshaun is going to be able to overcome that. Dallas, Cincy, this is this is going to be a good game. It's going to be boring as hell. Um, to be honest, I got to go Dallas here. I, I, I mean, it's kind of embarrassing to say that Dallas even has a chance of being beaten by the Burrowless Bengals, but 
it's okay. Now, Denver, Carolina, I mean, of course, Dallas is going to fuck them over on their draft position, but that's okay. Denver, Carolina, um, I'm going to actually rock Carolina here. They're rested at home. Even though Christian McCaffrey's not playing, that's okay. They do pretty damn well without him anyways, even though it might screw up their draft position again. I, I think that they can just continue rolling. Jets, Seahawks, this is a no-brainer. I don't understand how the hell the Seahawks lost to the damn Giants. Like, legitimately... Seahawks fans, um, y'all gotta kind of gotta step forward and just tell us what the hell is going on. And Atlanta Chargers, um, I'm gonna say Chargers have a bounce back week. I think that Anthony Lynn's gonna be like, oh shit, my job's kind of on the line right now, and he's gonna get his head and ass wired together. He's gonna need to get that dub right there. Now, uh, Minnesota, Tampa, uh, Tampa's on a full rested week. We, we gotta go with them. They got Dominican Sue and Vita Vea on that interior. I think that's gonna really mess up the run game a bit. And I don't like Kirk Cousins in the past game. So Tampa Bay is going to be rocking. Arizona, New York. This is another no-brainer. Uh, even with Danny Dimes, Colt McCoy, somehow pulling off an insane victory over Seattle. I think that's just a fluke. Arizona is going to be taking the cake here. They definitely need to. Um, they're 7-6 with this victory. That's kind of ridiculous. Me being saying that they're going to be 13-3 and for Christ's sakes. Uh, Green Bay, Detroit. Uh, we got to go Green Bay here. I mean... Like, it's an interdivisional game, so it might be competitive, but it, it got to be Green Bay. You know, Detroit couldn't, like, they all had to make a big-ass comeback against Chicago. Hell no, they ain't going to be able to beat Green Bay. If they do, by all means, by all means. I mean, I'll always be happy whenever Green Bay gets to have a little bit of a slippage. Uh, Washington, San Fran, uh, I'm going to be going Washington here. Mr. Checkdown is going to be able to do his job, and then the defense always does their job. Uh, they beat Pittsburgh. I, I've said that it was possible for Pittsburgh to lose last week. You know, the defense is that good. Uh, in New Orleans and Philadelphia, I mean, Jalen Hurts is starting. I don't really have that much confidence in Jalen Hurts. I thought he was around three type dude. Someone who you could, I thought I kind of wanted him to go to the Steelers to learn under Big Ben. But, you know, like he's on Philly now. And it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. So let me know what you guys think. Didn't really want to go into too much depth because I want this to process quickly. Get out earlier because we have another video at 6.30 Pacific because we got round four, which was recorded before uh, the last video. So if you guys are making suggestions, I couldn't really change anything about that. We all we just got to pivot uh, and then change it for the next draft. You guys have been teaching me so much. We're at 800 80 subs now like I remember saying that we were at like 700 like two like almost like three maybe four videos ago it's just insane I really appreciate you guys coming in enjoying the show and then having a good time because it makes it a lot more enjoyable for me too knowing that you guys actually want to see my shit I'll talk to you later guys see you on the far side peace